Deputy Seamus Healy and the Deputy is five minutes. Yeah, thank you. Uh, first of all, I want to uh, commend Deputy Wallace and his staff for bringing forward this piece of legislation, a piece of legislation which I believe is very important. Um, it's a piece of legislation that uh, no doubt will be voted down later on this evening uh, by the government, but I believe it puts in place a template uh, which will be actually acted upon in the not too distant future because it's a template that sets out best practice, best inter international practice. And I think it's worthwhile again reminding ourselves that many of the provisions in this Gerda Shikana Amendment Bill 2013 have been recommended in reports and works published by the United Nations, by the Council of Europe, uh, by the Irish Human Rights Commission, by the Irish Council for Civil Liberties, Combat Poverty, uh, Father Peter McVerry, Social Justice Ireland, the Morris Tribunal, the Patton Report and various others. These are, uh, these are well known uh, and well respected bodies and individuals who have contributed to the drawing up of this legislation uh, and as I said this uh, legislation to my mind sets out best practice and will uh, hopefully in the not too distant future be acted upon and put into, in, into operation. Um, it, many uh, cases of malpractice have been instanced during the course of this debate and there's no doubt uh, that there are many are there. We've met some, some of, uh, of the individuals concerned uh, in the AV room yesterday. Uh, I know myself I'm dealing with three cases of malpractice at the moment uh, and uh, it is quite clear that there are cases right, right throughout the country. Uh, and we've also had, of course, uh, the Morris Tribunal, uh, Tribunal as well. But I, I believe that if there was never an allegation of mal malpractice uh, against even one Garda, that this is, this is the most sensible, the most common sense, the fairest and the best practice way of operating uh, the Garda Shia in, in, in a democratic state. Um, the, the, Effectively, the Patton Report in the north of Ireland uh, sets out uh, what, is, what is international best practice, and this, uh, this bill, uh, to a large extent, uh, follows on, uh, on that. I support the, uh, uh, the uh, introduction of a Garda Síochána independent board, uh, and I believe uh, that that board uh, would be an important step in strengthening uh, the democratic accountability of Angarda Síochána uh, and would ensure that there would be trust in the force and in the membership uh, of the, of the Garda Síochána uh, and would, would lead uh, to a policing by consent and would lead to community policing uh, uh, throughout the country. Uh, and I believe that is a very key element in this, uh, in this piece of legislation. Um, Obviously, another element uh, is the whole question of the Garda Síochána uh, Ombudsman Commission. Uh, and it's been said here earlier this evening uh, that this was uh, a very important um, uh, milestone in, in the whole area of complaints uh, when it was introduced, and it might well have been. Indeed, it was, I suppose. Uh, but the facts of the matter are uh, that uh, in recent times, it is quite clear that the Garda uh, uh, Síochána Ombuds Commission uh, is certainly suffering from uh, a lack of cooperation by the Gardaí. Uh, I go so far as to say it's suffering from obstruction by, uh, by, the, by Garda management. Uh, and that there is, uh, there is um, uh, obviously a need to uh, ensure that we have a fully independent uh, uh, Ombudsman Commission uh, and that we have a, a fully independent and a commission uh, that is, uh, has full authority to act and is not being obstructed by... Deputy, uh, you have one minute. Thank you, by, by, by uh, Garda management. And I believe that the, um, that the section of the bill which uh, deals with this uh, uh, will, will deal with that question, will widen the admissibility uh, of uh, the criteria for complaints. It will require mandatory supervision of all investigations by that office rather than the present system whereby 40% of complaints are in investigated by Gardaí themselves. Uh, and it will, it will prohibit serving Gardaí from forming part of the GSOC staff. And I think that is, uh, is uh, th those two last items are very important. We simply cannot have Gardaí uh, uh, investigating themselves, uh, nor indeed any other profession investigating themselves. Uh, it simply doesn't work, and it's quite clear now from the recent report by the 
uh, by the Ombudsman Commission that it is not working and needs to be, uh, to be changed. I think this bill uh, will do that. I would hope that even at this late stage that the Minister and the Government would accept the bill and give it uh, a, a further reading. Uh, it could be uh, amended. Uh, if necessary, uh, during the course of proceeding through the House, and I just confirm my support for the bill. Thanks, Deputy.